Hey guys, it's Kyla again. I am working on a lamp for the nursery for baby girl. I wanted to make like a little terrarium um, using some moss, some little fake mushrooms, uh, bees because we're doing classic Winnie the Pooh theme. I didn't want to use too like much Winnie the Pooh in here. I wanted to use more like nature and then just lightly use Winnie the Pooh um, like in the sheets and do some stuffed animals. So for the terrarium, I just wanted to kind of like do the woodsy na nature look. Um, so I'm laying out all of my items here. I got all these at Hobby Lobby. Muggsy, my little helper, is helping out. Um, here's some little like bees. I found those in the little like gnome section by the wedding area. Um, the moss and like the plant area. I got a couple different kinds of moss. Um, actually, I think I just got two different bags. I wasn't sure if I had enough. Um, and then I've got some little pine cones. I had some fake like logs. Um, some dried flowers. These little like mushrooms that were really cute. Um, but yeah, and then I don't think I ended up using the nest in here. But I just like had gotten some a variety of stuff for me to like look through and use, um, take parts of it. So I might use some of these leftover materials and do something else in the future with it. I'll just put it in my craft room. <laughs> I didn't take anything back. So um, the moss I'm going to go ahead and fill the bottom of this terrarium with. So my best friend's mom actually got this little um, globe lamp for me several years ago. And it was filled with sand and little items. And so I cleaned it out, took all the sand out, took the shells out, the rocks, everything that was in it wiped it down and then now I'm filling it with this like moss and I just want to make it look like woodsy and green and like real I don't want to like put too much in here um, but I wanted it to be like some different heights and everything totally ignore the cat and dog hair on the carpet um, I tried cleaning up beforehand Muggsy was like wallering all over everything um, when you have four animals and three of them are long haired hair is so hard to keep out of everything so ignore that sorry um, but yeah so I'm gonna take the moss and I'm gonna line the bottom of this um, I didn't want to put it too thick but I wanted it to be thick enough um, where it had like a pretty good base and then once I shove all that moss down in there I'm gonna take my next item make sure all the moss is flat no empty spots Sorry guys, I think I thought I saw something like cracked on the glass, but <laughs> probably a cat hair. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so there's the moss. And I'll add a little bit more in there. I'm really excited to show you guys this like finished nursery once it's all done. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the lampshade yet for this because it's just like an off cream color. I don't know if I'm going to do some like stitching in it or just leave the lampshade off. So now I'm getting these little fake logs out um, to put on the moss and I had like all different sizes in these. I didn't want them to look like I had shoved too much in here so I wanted to make sure I got the right size. I kind of just eyeballed it, moved it around a couple times, just looked to see what looked the best. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to add these logs in. Muggsy kept getting into like everything so I kept having to pause the video and move him. Uh, apologies for that. Yeah, so I'm just going to kind of like layer these little logs in there. See what looks the best. Must have liked that one there. <laughs> I was going to see if I like should add more, but I was like, uh, not sure about that. <laughs> I must have liked that log a little bit better. <laughs> nope. Changed my mind. <laughs> I feel like it's a trial and error thing. You just gotta see what looks the best. Kinda eyeball it. I have a creative mind, so I feel like I will see something and then like, oh no, I want it to be this way. Turn it around, look at it, check it out. Mm, too much. <laughs> Perfect, so now I'm going to look and see about this nest, and it's just looking a little bit big for the globe. I think I might try it in here, but I just ended up not liking it. 
So I put the nest down because I just wasn't feeling it. So I got these dried flowers from Hobby Lobby as well and they looked like little mushrooms. Um, I really don't know what kind of flower they were, but they worked out perfect for this. I, they're super like long and I would just like break them and get the right height. So I layered these around inside the globe, did different heights, um, did some short ones, did some tall ones, left some kind of like linky, but they turned out super cute. and. I really suggest looking in the like dried flower section at Hobby Lobby because they had some really neat ones. So for the next bit, you're going to watch me just kind of place these little like dried flowers in here um, looking like little mushrooms until I get the right arrangement that I like. I pick the nest up again looking I'm like eh nope not gonna work <laughs> and then picked up my acorns open those up and I placed a few little tiny acorns um, around the moss but again you don't want to use too many because you don't want it to feel like overly done or too full um, but there's what they look like and I just kind of moved them around until I felt like they looked good the most natural to where they didn't seem too posed, but also they didn't seem like they were just thrown in there. So put the little like dried flowers in there that look like mushrooms and now I'm going to add some bees. I found these in the little section. It's by the wedding area at my store, by the like plant area. Um, but there's like a little gnome section where you can make like little like gnome houses or fairy houses. Um, and they have little miniature items. But these bees have like wire um, things on the back of them and you can like either leave the wire on it or take them from the wire. I did a couple times where I was pulling the wire and I accidentally pulled the like bee off of it so you kind of have to be a little careful. But they're really fun because you can do like lots of different things with them.
I wanted the bees to feel like they were landing and flying and in motion in this area. I didn't want everything to just to be sitting on something, so I left the wire on there and made some of the bees like a little bit taller than the rest. Um, just so it looked like they were at different heights flying throughout the little terrarium. in the bee and then I'm gonna take a look inside my terrarium see what it looks like kind of check it out make any little last-minute adjustments so I'll let you guys take a little look inside as well here we go so at this point I hadn't added my little red and white mushrooms yet because I was kind of just seeing what it looked like making sure I liked it um, the different heights of the bees. It's really hard to work with your hand like down in the jar the whole time So you kind of just have to be like patient and a little bit delicate But I liked the like different uh, Height of the little fake mushrooms and the bees But then I just thought it needed a little bit more like pops of color along with the yellow bees So I added in these little plastic mushrooms These again were in like the gnome fairy section by the wedding flower area um, I really love what the red did with the yellow and the green uh, contrast. I kind of just hid them a little bit in the moss but didn't like let them sink down too far. I just didn't want them to look like they were out of place. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching me make this little terrarium for my baby girl's nursery. We're doing classic Winnie the Pooh with a nature like woodsy uh, color theme. I didn't want to go over the top and do everything Winnie the Pooh. I wanted to like throw in that nature that I love um, that goes along with the Winnie the Pooh as well. So here is a look at the final terrarium. I'm super happy with how it turned out. Um, if I were to do anything different, I might have put a little bit more moss in the bottom, just like a teeny bit more. Um, and maybe did a couple different heights of those like fake mushrooms. But really, I just don't want it to be like super full and like too busy. Thanks guys. <laughs>